Hey guys, welcome to Captain German Exploring YouTube channel. Today I'll show you something really unique because nobody around the internet did it. So I would like to show you how to replace our fancy rotating cell drive ZF SPP SB54 which part of dock and go system by Benito and my plan is to replace it into regular one mechanical SD60 from Yanmar. So are you ready? Let's go. Let's make a few steps back. Uh, I explain it about that cool system, fancy system, rotating cell drive system from Benito Dock and Go. You can follow this link and find out how this cool system works. But what is our plan? In last video, we showed you our problem, what had happened with our cell drive. Uh, we had electrical corrosion and uh, we had to pull out our boat. And as soon as we pull it out, we decide to make a bottom work and uh, put new anti in. But also, with the same time, uh, I started to search for a new cell drive and I found that during the COVID factory ZF, almost closed. Local ZF and uh, Yanmar companies in Panama promised me, yes, yes, we have everything, we will deliver it to you very, very fast. As a result, no cell drive in a stock and we had to wait for a six, six months to get our cell drive here in Panama and uh, be ready to install. Six months is absolutely not acceptable term. We started to check if it's possible to find maybe used one in the local stores. Uh, some of them say yes, they start to show me pictures and I realize this picture uh, I saw is from eBay. So I went to eBay and, uh, and tried to find the cell drive because it is just the same, <laughs> the same platform they provided to me, but prices they multiply to minimum. So uh, I found, fortunately, I found new new cell drive but it was in a stock for a few years uh, in a florida here in panama it's very easy to get it from united states of course with the same amount of money uh, we bought the cell drive in uh, florida oh no uh, it was in new york they sent it to florida doesn't matter so uh, after three weeks we received our cell drive, new cell drive SD60 here in Panama. So, we have our SD60 here in our boat. Everything is fine. It's a brand new cell drive. But only one issue we have to figure out. Look. That's exactly cell drive like we had before. 
and uh, this our flexifold prop definitely fits here but uh, before we used SD12 it is uh, not Yanmar it's ZF cell drive and here we have a, a little bit different shaft diameter, diameter. so uh, we have a two options first of all we can cut and make a new thread and second option just to buy a proper nut the proper diameter in our cell drive we have a metric thread but uh, here in Panama is uh, imperial so in inches and probably we could have uh, problems with uh, proper thread because of this difference mm -hmm. uh, let's figure out <laughs> how to make it yeah. figure out as I said to you before, I never had experience like this. I never change sail drive in my boat. I never take out motor. And so for me, it will be first my experience. So what we should do is to make a plan, to make an algorithm of all the process. Uh, and after we will go according to this plan. So what we should do first of all, to disconnect all hoses all electric cables everything and second step to take out the motor just to separate it from a cell drive from a gearbox and to take out our cell drive spp sb54 and instead of this install a new one when new cell drive SD60 will be installed, I need to connect motor to connect gearbox to the motor. Uh, we need to buy a damper disc, uh, but honestly, I don't know which shaft do we have right now and uh, how it's made uh, in SPP SB54 and a rotating cell drive. So first of all, we disconnect we find out the shaft diameter and uh, how it's made inside and probably only after this I will be able to order new damper disc and after we connect my motor to new cell drive to connect all the hoses all the electric cables back install new alternator which we fortunately were able to buy in Germany with an extremely good price about the alternator I will show you everything in our video after we assemble everything we put our boat in the water and now it's very important point we need to check the leakage of cell drive uh, our new cell drive SD60 has exactly the same housing like our previous one so we don't need to change a lot we just unscrew install new and screw it exactly the same uh, screws in a hole and uh, after we check leakage no leakage our boat is uh, ready for a future adventure so let's go according to our plan now we need to take everything out from uh, motor first of all I disconnect all the hoses which supply raw water uh, after all the fuel supply and uh, coolant so everything we need to disconnect unplug uh, because we need to move our motor out so we have result of first day look this is a fuel supply uh, everything disconnected from motor uh, bell housing almost ready to dismount because I unscrewed all the bolts around it was a quite difficult uh, also I take out steering motor uh, which rotating cell drive and now let's go and I'll show you opposite side of motor I disconnected all electrical cables, you see. Uh, I disconnect everything from alternator. I disconnected everything from a starter. Uh, also, you can see I uh, take out all hoses and the exhaust system. Uh, you can see it's a little bit dirty, but it's moderate fine. 
so we almost ready to move motor uh, this is a gas actuator uh, so we don't need it because we will not use it in anymore uh, because we will use it just regular uh, throttle cables El motor. So look, uh, I use the lines, rope, and lift a little bit uh, back side of motor. So now we can see a uh, gearbox is a little bit out. You can see. So now we have a following task. We have uh, stripes here. We need to lift it a little bit up and after to move all the motor outside from a gearbox. Приподнял, приподнял. Ой, мамочка. So guys, what I found. Look. This is a part of motor, rotating part of motor. Uh, this is a clutch. Clutch very similar to uh, car clutch. So just regular disc. But the problem is, look, this diameter is uh, smaller than uh, shaft in SD60. So I'm pretty sure we have to buy a new disc just Do you see the difference? From the bottom of boat, eight bolts, and that's it. Uh, this one is a cradle for a cover. I will show you right now. Like this, so easy. We don't have a holder which fix our cable on a sail drive and look what I also found. Uh, that gas cable is too short. 
Anyway, we need to order this part to keep our uh, cell drive cable in the proper position. And of course, new uh, gas cable because this one is too short, unfortunately. Look, we have our old alternator for 80 amps. It's still good, it's working. But this one which we have now, white one, is a much, much better. It's a two times more powerful. So, we, of course, we would prefer to use and to keep as much power as we could. So, uh, we had small problem. We could not install it so easy. So, we had to cut a little bit with a grinder. And uh, after this simple job, uh, our new alternator was installed perfectly in a proper position so of course it's a better to have a two belts because it's more powerful but for a present time we have only one belt and uh, i think everything will be fine in the future we just buy a new belt system with uh, not a v belt uh, it will be like a flat belt and i think it will work much better but for the present time I think our belt will work fine now you can see our new cell drive already installed our new damper disc already came and the shaft diameter exactly the same like we need for a cell drive uh, all parts already lubricated so now we can assemble everything together back so i hope everything fit now we have uh, two stripes which we attach to the top of motor and now we are ready to lift the motor up and uh, connect motor itself to our installed cell drive <laughs> How to bring motor close to the cell drive because when uh, we put it in a position uh, on a Catalina we cannot get it so close. So we invent some system with uh, stripes uh, and uh, with that system we are able to, uh, to get the motor close to the cell drive and connect it and fit it. Uh, one into another and screw it back together without any gaps now it's the most difficult part we need to screw our cell drive to the motor and very important to do it together in a port side in a starboard and you can see me and Dina do it together from a both side of engine we want our cell drive and motor should be in a one line without any angles so that's why we just screw one bolt and uh, another from opposite side our sail drive is uh, five centimeters lower than previous one and our motor should be moved 10 centimeters to the back of board because the size of new cell drive is smaller, it means we have to move our motor and to make a new motor mount. We have a welder in Marina and now we are going and order uh, new parts according to our drawing. So we made uh, two new mounts, it's uh, really hot for now because it's uh, freshly baked. Uh, the top part not really welded well, uh, it is uh, just few spots because we need to, probably we need to adjust it to proper location. 
these two mounts a little bit dirty but when we adjust the proper position it will be cleaned and we will paint with uh, some galvanic inks let's uh, show you how this rubber dampers works so it is a bottom plate and a big rubber uh, shock absorber and the bolt so everything we assemble together and on these uh, soft cushions the motor our motor will be installed uh, on this rubber dampers and uh, when motor will have a vibration it will be absorbed the, by these rubber dampers As you see, we already installed this uh, mount, so our motor already stay on it. What we need to do now, we need to adjust the position of cell drive and the best way to do it when you go under the boat and make the proper measurements on our cell drive. Dina will do it. Короче, мы выставляем cell drive. Относить, поскольку вероятно, что мы стоим не супер идеально горизонтально, потому что тут у Марины есть определенный уклон, и лодка стоит чуть-чуть с креном небольшим, но мы центруем относительно киля и относительно радара. Вот у меня есть такая линейка длинная, и наша задача ее так приложить, чтобы вот эта точка совпала с нижним углом киля, и это была как бы одна прямая, то есть по линейке. И мы смотрим отклонение относительно вот этой вертикали. Стоит ровно как будто бы относительно всего и радара, и киля. И то же самое потом, переходя с этой стороны э, к килю. То есть мы смотрим, чтобы верхняя то точка радара совпадала с нижней сол драйва и как-то там вот оно в общем было либо левую чуть-чуть назад либо правую чуть-чуть вперед да я могу так сделать без проблем на всех шайбочках и болтиках это установили высоту отрегулировали и в целом я думаю что сейчас сережа пойдет заказывать уже финальные ножки приваренные как надо и будем ставить now we have a final drawing uh, we will make a final adjustments of motor mounts <laughs> So guys, we're almost ready uh, to assemble everything back and uh, we need to fill our engine with the oil. Uh, it is a big question, which oil would you prefer to fill in your motor? But there is uh, only one answer. You will fill everything good enough, which one you can buy in uh, any region you are. So. Uh, I found there is a big national fuel stations network and they have their own brand 
this one. It's one gallon uh, jerry cane and uh, it's 15 W40 and fit for uh, commercial diesel vehicles. We asked uh, locals who just fill their own cars and motorcycle and boats and they said yes, yes, it's fine, you can buy uh, this oil. I'm all the time worried about which oil should I fill in my engine not to kill it. So uh, we have uh, three gallons because I think it's enough for a motor, it's about 5.5 liters and uh, 2.5 liters in a um, gearbox SD60. So it's more or less that amount we require it. And also I would like to change oil in my genset uh, on on 6.5 kilowatts for 220 volts. Uh, so if it's not enough, I will buy, uh, they have a one gallon jerry canes and one liter, a little bit less, but one liter jerry cane. So I assembled everything back, our motor fully assembled. I connected all fuel lines, I connect new gas cable, which is uh, fine in terms of lens. So now uh, I think we need to do is install an oil filter and uh, fill motor with an oil and be ready to test it. Click, gear engaged, and now we pull a throttle gas. You see, it works. Now I put a hose in a cell drive oil uh, hole and uh, put a cone and now I'm filling oil in a cell drive and after uh, we'll do the same with the uh, engine. Oil filter, firstly you need to fill a little bit of oil in it and after uh, pepper inside the filter, suck in oil, add a little bit more and screw it in uh, its position. <laughs> With a deep stick we will check oil level few times and I hope the level will be between low and full. I connected hose with water to engine cooling system. Давай вперед. Нейтраль. Назад. Нейтраль. Выключайся. So guys, we did it. Our cell drive is working and the engine is working, everything is fine and I'm happy. Uh, I would like to remind you that it was for you it was a chance to see something very unique because nobody did this type of job. Uh, I mean probably somebody did it but uh, nobody filmed it. We are ready to return back to the water. This is a plastic bag just not to scratch a fresh anti-falling. Now I think it's a good time to check if everything works or not. So, what we have now? So guys, now very important part. 
let's figure out how much does it cost to replace our modern fancy sail drive into regular mechanical one. First point, hull out and after hull in. It's about 800 US dollars. We spent two months on a dry dock, 1,300. We bought sail drive in eBay for a three and a half thousand. And delivery to Panama, I paid 800 total with the price of delivery inside US, uh, price to delivery it in Panama and all the expenses close to it, 800. Gas, lever, cables, all the pins and everything, I paid 700 USD. For motor mounts, I paid 250 for a welding service. Uh, it was a quite big project. I think, on my point of view, I overpay, but sometimes you have no choice. For oil, I paid 80 bucks. And for small pieces like cable tires and etc., etc., I paid 70 bucks. If we calculate everything, I paid 7,500 dollars for this project. So guys, as you see, we already in the water. Happy captain, happy captain's wife, everybody happy around. And I hope that system will work for a quite big period of time because it is a quite simple system. I hope no problems I will get in the closest future. And we are able to go to Pacific, of course, in the closest future. So guys, uh, please subscribe to our channel Captain German Exploring. Like, comment. It's very important to see your opinion about system. It, was it correct or not to change from a really fancy system into regular mechanical one or worse to fix my existing uh, rotating cell drive system from ZF, Dock and Go from Benito. So please subscribe because we have uh, tons of cool topics to show you. Uh, check a bell and see you in the next video. Bye bye.